Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're taking a look at how you can create your own custom crowds and we're going to go through a set of workflow which will definitely make your life extremely easy. So first up, we're going to start off by taking a look at a wonderful tool that is made available by the guys at Relusion known as Character Creator. So the first things you need to know before you get started with creating crowds is crowds are basically made up of two things. The first one is the set of characters that you need and the next one is the motion. With this motion intact, you can now proceed to lay out how you want your characters to move and how you want them to interact with each other. For the crowd, we're going to take a look at another software altogether that is going to simply make your life extremely easy while trying to make this. So first off, we're going to start off directly here in the character creator tool. So directly from here, you can see we have a custom character already. You can proceed to add a couple of clothes and even change the character the way you want you can also choose to make several variations of this character if this is actually what you're going for and once this is done you can proceed to exporting this as fbx which you can now import into anima that we're going to take a look at now if you don't own character creator you can get character creator for free which you can use to play around but then if you actually don't have a means of getting this we're going to talk about how you can lay your hands on this tool and have a free copy for yourself and with that said we can also proceed to talking about mixamo where you can get free character that you can use the only difference with that of mixamo and character creator is in character creator you get to define the character that you want the height the width you know however you want your character to be but from mixamo you already have some pre-designed characters that you are only bound to work with all right so right here in character creator we can start making some very cool you know decisions by adding hair and we can also choose to add some sort of costume to this character so for now i will go through and simply add up a couple of jean and our boxer something like this and once we throw that in we can also choose to throw in a little bit of shirt so let's find something really cool to throw directly onto this model you know something quite decent and yeah so with this now we can simply export this character out but i think it's also good to give this character a set of shoes so for the shoes we can literally go down here and just simply pick any of the boots which we want and throw it directly into this character and just like that you have one cool character ready to go you can now proceed to export this port then export this as an fbx and just because we don't want to have unnecessary mesh i'm going to click right here that says delete hidden meshes which is automatically going to delete all of these meshes that we're not going to see of course you can choose to keep this if you're trying to export this to do some sort of simulation where the other parts of the body would be visible but for our own use case we don't really want those parts so i'm just going to check this and export this totally out so with this done we're going to jump right into anima so anima is a wonderful tool that you can get for free in case you're trying to create your own crowds this is exactly where we're going to get this thing started from here i'm going to simply assign a new project which i'll just simply keep as project one and proceed to click on new i'm leaving the scaling unit to meters you can choose to change this however you want and with this we're going to have a brand new scene and i'm just going to go through and click on open once you open anima for the first time this is exactly what you're going to see so how we can proceed with working with this is extremely easy right now we have a brand new scene and if you want to check out the video where we talked about a couple of things that you can do with the brand new version of anima link is going to be in the description where you can check this out from here where we have our library is where you can have a set of library of characters that you can work with and also you can check out the preset section where you can also play with the preset but today we're looking at how you can create your own custom crowd so for you to get started with creating your own custom crowd is right on top of here you notice that we have this button that switches over to the content editing mode so we're going to click on the content edit mode and by default you're going to notice that we have this so for us to actually get our characters here we need to go down to this part where we have as project and click on the plus sign to import our fbx file simply press on the plus button and locate the fbx file where we have them so once you select the fbx file you can proceed by hitting import and anima is going to analyze the fbx file if the bone hierarchy is something it understands it's going to go through and list out the bone hierarchy right here and you can see it has a whole lot of presets that it can actually read from so this now is being recognized as a resolution preset and we're going to simply click on yes and it will proceed to importing this and also find a way of linking individual joints 
to the preset of the animal files that it has so with this done we'll be able to have our file directly here and we can assign certain sets of motions to it and the motions which you can assign to your file or to your character right now is actually found within the motion clip so this is where you can test out your motions by simply clicking on individual motions and getting these things ready so once you go through and simply select them you can literally see that you have these motions right here so with this done next thing which i would like to do is to bring in more characters which we're going to also take a look at and you can now go back to the scene editing mode where you can actually start laying out your entire crowd so for this crowd i'm going to simply click on the walkway tool click right here and click all the way right here and if you want to exit from the walkway tool all you need to do is just simply right click and you get this going so with this now the next thing which i'm going to do is simply hit on generate but before we actually start hitting on generate we need to populate the set of crowd that we want else animal would go through and populate our scene for us using the crowds that it already has in its default library but for us to get this one going i'm going to select the two characters that we have imported earlier so you can see the very first one which is called babe and i think the second one is also called babe underscore so i'm just going to drag this right here one and also drag the second one right over here so once i import these two i can specify the amount of characters that i want and of course your crowd has to be like several different characters we're just using two for the main time you can specify the number of characters that you want for this example we're going to simply keep it at 10 and i can choose what part i want them to walk through if i want them to work in a linear form if i want them to work in a cross-directional form that is also going to be fine and depending on how you want these things to work you can choose to set this up yourself i'm just going to go through and click the second one and with that done i'm going to hit on generate so once we hit on generate anima will take a look at the entire scene and automatically create a custom crowd for us right now you would notice that our crowd is just made up of characters walking so what if you want your characters to run jog and do some other things how do you get this one going so for you to do that all you need to do is go down to where you have your motion clip and look for the appropriate motion clip that you want so for the motion clip which we have here what we're looking for is our character running so i would go through and just simply get the female character running click this and drag it directly onto this part where you have motion clip slash category so once i drop this here and simply press the playback button you would notice that we have our character of which women running and this is going to be pretty cool if you have like a legion of zombies or let's say you have a huge army or you have a couple of people just trying to walk here and there this is definitely going to be nice so one of the noticeable things that you see once you bring in a model inside uh anima is you notice that the shoulders are a bit high so for us to get this uh bulky shoulder out of the way what you need to do is simply move this down to this point then also this down to this point so once this is done by simply doing that you can proceed to using this node at the edge which is called the arms out and bring out the arm in this way you get a perfectly looking character and you can proceed to hitting on save now once you save this and start applying different motions to it you would notice that the motions totally conform to what you have so in case you're bringing in your characters and you get to notice that they have that bulky looking shoulder and it's not something that you're particularly a fan of you can proceed to make changes with this and you also notice that in most of the characters it's having exactly that don't set up your or don't fix the bulk by having motions applied you can fix the bulk within the stance pose and that is only when you might probably get some significant effects uh, with this one so once again use the arms out to get this out while you simply use the shoulder up and down to get the shoulders in the position where you want these things to be so if custom crowd simulation is something that you're interested in then of course you can simply take a look at this if you also want to get the character creator which we used in creating the brand new versions of those characters before we proceeded to bring them into anima you can also go over to the character creator website i'm going to put a link to the deletion website where you will be able to download this and simply get it of course we're doing a simple giveaway right now which you can be a part of i'm going to put a link to that giveaway where you'll be able to get the character creator 3 and also the headshot plugin bundle this is definitely going to help you and get you up and running for creating characters and getting some very custom character stuff going and if you want to be a part of that and win the plugin and also the tool follow the link in the description where you're going to see all the criteria that are necessary for you to be able to get this one going and yeah that is definitely going to be about it i'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a 
a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace